We're here at Tracy's Automotive Repair and uh, we kind of broke the shop today. The truck um, has something bigger going on than what they they could figure out. Ivan uh, referred us to them, uh, said best diesel mechanic in town, Ford guy, turns out of course, I mean 30 year mechanic, knows everything about the truck and thought it was an injector. Replace the injector, replace the IDM which is the uh, uh, computer that kind of handles the injectors and making sure fuel goes into the cylinders and that the truck fires um, Replaced all that and there was still an issue so narrowed it down to being a wiring issue and There's nobody else in town that can handle that So we are done with Heber City There should be insurance right here telling us we got a tow coming Hello Yes, hi. Okay. Are you riding with the vehicle to the dealership? Yes. How many passengers? We have two passengers and a dog. We are um, update. We're just waiting on finding out that we will, in fact, have a tow truck tow us. We're having issues because our truck is heavy and it's tall. It's 11 feet 6 inches. So it's not legally allowed to be on a flatbed at this point because it would be too high for highway standards um, and that can cause a safety issue and is illegal. So we are at the mercy of a tow truck who can actually lift the front end up, um, have to unlock our four wheel drive in the back so that we don't burn out everything back there uh, in the transfer case and um, that takes you know a different kind of truck, a different type of tow person. So we're at the mercy of even more people now um, but Ford is waiting for us tomorrow, which is awesome. They understand what's going on. They moved us uh, up in the lineup. They already moved us up to Thursday and said, yeah, we'll, we understand. We'll go ahead and move you up to tomorrow as well. So God willing, we get there. And God willing, it's not a catastrophe. This truck is um, it's, it's throwing us for a loop. But we chose this life. We accept all the things that come along with it. And this is just one of them. I mean, we're traveling with less money than we should have. We're traveling with Lindsay dealing with Crohn's disease while we're traveling. Uh, we got a dog, which is sometimes inconvenient. My back's all blown out. We got all these issues, but this is the life we're choosing. And we're totally cool with that because um, I, I really don't know what other life we'd be living right now. We're just going to roll with it. As difficult as it is to find the silver lining, eventually this will get fixed. The truck will be repaired. We will be on the road, we will be in Thermopolis, hopefully soon, and when all that stuff comes together, life will move forward, and uh, this is just a learning process. It's just part of the puzzle, part of the, excuse me, part of the bigger plan in life. So, back to waiting. Pup Pup's already given up on the day. She's been doing a lot of napping. It'll be good to get her to Thermopolis, get her out in the park, get her running around, go for walks with the buffalo. Once the water warms up, get her swimming in the Wind River. So that's what we got. So we're getting close to the tow truck in here, and I think it's going to be a flatbed, so that's cool. Which is better than towing it at an angle, in my opinion, because uh, we don't know what would happen. Like Things like tanks, uh, where would the gray water go? We tried to empty, but we have a little bit. Would it want to flush out the shower? Would it overspill onto the floor or whatever? So we can think of everything, but we decided we were going to try. And um, it's our messy little camper. Stuff's on the floor because it's better that we put it than that it fall. I went ahead and wrapped my guitar in blanket, even though I haven't touched a guitar in darn near three weeks. And then stuff, I think, pretty well situated. Normally we have these guys up in these shelves. Normally there's some fruit and stuff over in the corner. Um, but I'm worried that it'll fall and make a mess. These are Lindsay's plants. Don't tell her, but I left them there. If they fall and break, it's not going to break my heart. It really won't. I'll even clean up the mess. And then our bed. <clears throat> nice and pretty. We make it every day. So we stuffed some stuff up in the corner and underneath all the blankets and pillows. 
things that when the truck is at an angle because it's going on the flatbed so at some point it's going to go up a 30 45 degree angle hopefully not 45 but it's going to go up an angle and when it does that stuff's going to move in ways that it doesn't normally move so this is kind of the before even though it's a mess um, it's our before and we'll see what happens after because something always happens when we are on the road it's just a fact of life for us there's our ride I hope we won't be sitting too high up oh man I hope there's no overpasses underpasses We've got to somehow fit our bikes <laughs> in here. Which, there's always a way. Ah, the dog's gonna get my food. Uh, so we are in Parkland, 
George, what? Where? Parkland, Park City. Park. We're in Park. Park. I can't ever remember the details. I'm just a driver. <laughs> so we're in Park City, and uh, we got towed in last night, and that was crazy. Yeah, it was. Ivan, it was the tow truck driver, was freaking awesome. Um, he's from Chile, so we were going to try to stay in touch with him to some yeah. degree. <laughs> even though we're not going to be there for years or maybe never if this stinking truck keeps doing that. I mean, I love you, truck. Mm -hmm. So, Ivan was awesome, but man, we, we went through the ringer. We went through, we didn't think there were any overpasses on this road. Yeah, so we were on a flatbed yeah. tow truck, which put us like really high. We were tall. Like almost 16 feet high. We thought we were going to be taking down um, city Yeah, we thought we were going to lose our AC. Yeah, so so we didn't. <laughs> we made it, and uh, the first overpass, there were three of them. The first one, we kind of went around. We got off on the off-ramp, and then went up and around and got right back on the highway. Mm -hmm. And then the next two, he's like, no, nah, I think we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm like, Ivan, you're the man. Yeah, I, we like, I, I, I trust you. If, you know, something goes wrong, then, you know, I'm sure there's some kind of insurance claim, and we'll be homeless for, you know, a while, but whatever man you got this and so he, he you know crossed his fingers and whoosh, off we went and we went under the overpass we were fine and we were fine um but then he let us down on the side of the road because there was a pedestrian overpass which was going to be we thought um, was going to be shorter yeah we thought it'd be a little bit thought it'd be a little bit lower mm -hmm. so he dropped us off you know half a mile from from the campground so here we are we woke up i took the camper off the truck and we were ready to go to the ford dealer I'm kind of nervous, of course, because anytime you deal with the dealer, you're dealing with more expensive repairs, um, unless you have your warranty on your brand new truck. But since this truck's warranty ran out in 2003, <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> 16 years ago, uh, we're we're gonna have to bite the bullet on the cost. So we're just gonna, you know, bite it and move on because we we would really love to get the truck fixed. So here we go, off to the dealer. Our dr truck apparently is officially dead. <sighs> Got us to Dead Horse, Alaska and back. Love this truck, but pretty sure she's done. There's the nice guy that helped us bring our camper down. I think you got a good angle. Yeah, you're good. Perfect. Uh, I think this is going to be goodbye. All right, so we are stranded in Utah. Found out this morning our truck pretty much has a shot engine. Uh, there's metal throughout it's making it not run good uh pretty much nothing we can do except maybe put a new engine in it um and we got a rental car I'm gonna try to get up to wyoming and i'm just packing up my stuff my clothes everything that i will need because i might not be coming back to park city chris probably will he's got to bring the car back on tuesday and I just got to get all my clothes, or most of my clothes, I'm not going to pack all of them, but jackets, um, some of my nicer shirts, and uh, all my medicines, and we got to clean out the fridge, we have to get a cooler to clean out the fridge, because we are basically storing it at this campground and there's no electricity for that uh, but they're letting us store it here for five dollars a night which helps a lot so pack up everything that we need get it uh into the car uh, pick it up here try to do this one-handed with the camera since i don't have chris to film me One. Fill it up. Oh wow, it's about full. Look at that. Oh, 
Uh, I don't think Evie needs the whole back seat, so she's just gonna have to make do. With some of my clothes being here, so packing up the car. Everest. She has no idea what's going on. Boy, is she gonna be sad when the truck's gone. So, this is what it looks like when your truck completely craps out on you and you have to move out of your truck camper home and into a tiny little rental car. Yeah, I think we have too much stuff. Trunks full. Woo! All of our food. We have to go buy a cooler. Dog toys. No room for the dog. She's gonna have to sit in my lap. For Chris's lap. Yeah. You're recording your news? I'm not recording anything. Yes, you are. You hit the button. I heard you hit the button. Oh, it's recording. It is recording. <laughs> check, check. Check. He thinks he can get me. He thinks he can trick me and make me think that it's not recording. And it is. What are you talking about? Hey, speaking of what are you talking about? What are you talking about with this car? This looks like a new... It smells like a new car. Yeah, it is a new car. Did you get a new car? Maybe. You got a new car. When's he got a new car? What happened I to our wish. truck? No, I'm just kidding. I love my truck. What happened to our truck? Why aren't you in our truck? You wouldn't be driving our truck anyway, but why, why am I not in the driver's seat in our truck? Uh, well, our truck is in Utah. And we're in Montana. We're in Montana? Well, how'd we get here? The time warp? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the truck's in Utah, but we're in Montana in a car that doesn't belong to us, which yep. can only mean one thing. It's a rental. It's a rental. This is a rental car. We are in a rental car that we got in Park City, Utah, and we have driven now to Montana, of all places, because, well, we paused in between. Yeah, we did. We've been in Wyoming. We, we made it to our friends in Wyoming in <clears> Thermopolis. <throat> Love Thermopolis. That'll be a whole nother side story. But it was Easter weekend and we were not going to spend it broken down in the campground in Utah. So we rented a car, we drove up to Thermopolis, we spent some days in Thermopolis, and we tried to come up with a solution for our truck and camper. We'll take you back through that dilemma shortly, but what we did decide to do was to rent a truck to try to haul our camper to Wyoming. Yep. Our truck's got to get shipped back to Florida. Our mechanic there, George, awesome, amazing mechanic. He thinks he can figure out what's wrong better than the Ford people. And we have, I would say, 1,000% more confidence in George sure do. than with Ford dealership. Sorry if you're a Ford dealer. Um, you have a terrible track record of success in diagnosing and solving truck issues. You'd rather that we just buy a new truck. Yeah, pretty much. Which we got offered. We got offered. Yeah, it was great. They're like, oh, your engine's dead. Would you like to buy a new truck? Oh, thanks. Because that like, just solves all the issues. I'm like, yeah, that's like going to get new batteries at Walmart, right? Like, you know, you're, you don't have, we don't have Walkman anymore. I was like, Why are they going to say Walkman? <laughs> but you know, your, your thing breaks, your widget breaks because the batteries are dead. And you like, you go to Walmart and you get new batteries. Like, oh, you want a new truck? A new $45,000 three quarter ton F-250? Yeah, sure, sign me up for that one, Ford. So we're not really happy with Ford, not Ford that made our truck, because we still don't think it's dead, but... But on top of not fixing our truck, they still charged us for it. Oh yeah, we had to pay. Got it back, running 50 times worse than it did when yeah, we Yeah, it, it hardly even started up and it wouldn't go three feet. So, long story short, we had to tow the camper to the campground, well, tow the truck to the campground. We managed to get some long-term storage uh, for the camper and for the truck, but we had the camper in a campsite that was $50 a night just mm -hmm. about So we needed to move that while we were trying to figure out what was going to happen here or while we tried to figure out what was going to happen 
So we had to go around begging and knocking on doors and trying to get people to help move our camper. And people were totally nice in the campground, but none of them had the right truck. They were all dualies. They were all dualies. And we don't have dually brackets on our camper. Yep. So, so we ended up uh, going back to Ford, begging our way, and it turns out the mechanic who diagnosed the issue was a kind enough guy, has a truck camper himself, and he moved it. I mean, we literally need to move maybe 150 feet. Yeah, I thought. Um, so the truck and the camper are in Utah in storage. We're in Montana renting a, a truck because there are no truck rentals in Utah. Or Wyoming. I mean, sorry, yeah. Yeah, why would I say that? There are no <laughs> truck rentals in Wyoming. <laughs> There's none in Wyoming. There might be one in Utah. There are truck rentals in Utah, but... We weren't going to drive all the way back have to, to Utah. Yeah, we'd have to go back and forth and back and forth and, and back Billings and forth again. And Billings is closer to Thermopolis. So. so this is just back and forth and back and half forth back and yes it's still it's, oh, it's complicated it's still it's complicated all of this is complicated it's not easy we're dealing with it but um so here we are in montana we are in billings montana just outside we didn't go in town we didn't see anything we're thinking if we can get through this crazy week and get the camper to wyoming and get the truck to florida then when we return the rental truck we will be with our friends audra and ro and gabriel and we will try to make a half day just seeing a little bit of billings they both know billings really well um so we'll get a little bit of a, a little bit of a flavor of billings maybe but for now we're just like in survival mode and we will talk about that later for sure um because this has been the most intense week maybe week and a half of, nightmare week of our lives together and i personally can't think of a more intense week um going through my back maybe through my our life. last couple of weeks at sea mark but yeah. no, i don't think it was anything like this, this this has been crazy nuts between the stress and the logistics and the money we have to spend so we're um we're gonna go and i'm actually i'm gonna get out of this car and get into the rental truck next door and we are going to drive back to thermopolis and we are going to sleep for the night and then head down to utah in the morning and hopefully get the truck right early yep get the truck towed out as soon as the truck is gone, we'll load the camper and we will uh, make our way back to Thermopolis, drop the camper at Audra and Rose house, and then drive the truck back to Billings, drop off the rental truck, get a ride back to Thermopolis, and then we will have our bikes. Mm, yes. Well, assuming they fit in the truck and camper. Mm. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to fit. Well, they should fit in the camper. Yeah, with the generators and everything else we got. I mean, We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll make it work. We got stuff. I mean, we have everything we need. That's the problem. There's not much we can jettison, yep. but we'll figure it out. I'm not. I'm not shipping the generators. No, they're too valuable. But no. there's other stuff that not we can leave in the truck, and if somebody wants to steal my private Playboy collection, no big deal. Chris, <laughs> it usually goes really? over your head You're when I say something. You're gonna have to bleep something. that out. It usually goes over your head when I say something like that. <laughs> I don't really have a private. I was just saying it to see if she caught me. Speaking of that, what's that over there? Nice. So you're going to fart <laughs> in the rental car and leave me in here with it. Yep. I'm getting out. Let's go back to Wyoming. What do you say? Yes. All right. Yep, that's daddy.